Well, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today we're going out for a request. The request is to burn a Swedish torch. And we're going out there to camp to burn it. So come along with Ranger Cookie. We're going to watch the Swedish torch burn today. Boy, it's a beautiful day. So we are we're heading out to the, to the great hobo to check it to make sure nothing's going on. And something's weird. I'm not supposed to jump somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have to make a new trail, and a new trail's over here in this damn ditch. And I'm gonna work on the clay stove when I'm out there. Also. I need to uh, put new cans in. I brought some cans out there. You know, I just have to uh, put new cans in. So hey, come along. And I hope you enjoy the little walk through the woods. Y'all seen this trail many, many, many times. Come on with me. We're going for a walk. Damn, look at my shadow. Okay. All that gear. Look at that gear. <laughs> Too much gear, Ranger Cookie. Too much gear. Yeah, I know. But it's no fun going out here with no gear. Yeah, we had a tree fell in our trail. Look at that. It smells like Christmas. kind of take me off at the it was a while back I went out here I'm like damn it trees everywhere uh, so if you gotta walk a mile well 0 0.75 miles to my camp to walk basically a mile with gear and all kinds of junk Got another camera so I can record the Swedish torch. Um, and another thing I'm going to do today, if I leave on time and have enough time, I'm going to do another recon for my friend Donnie Paulinini. And I'm going to find him a safe house, which I did. I never recorded it because I forgot my camera. Now I have a camera. Going back to this, the safe house for Donnie Pallolini and showing him what he has out there in, New, in Mississippi. Casey had the bug out. It's by a nice, beautiful pond. Nice house. A little rotten in, in certain parts in the uh, house. The house been there for, since the 60s. Uh, the base thrown that by the kitchen zinc, the bed, and other items that's in there in that old house. Stayed, it was about 1960s, could be earlier, could be later. Uh, no one's been out there for a long time. Old, old, old fence. Uh, I like to show Donnie Paolini one day a good safe house. It's always good to have because you never know when you need a good shelter. They keep you out of all the elements until it's over with. But hey, let's take let's take a look. Alright, let's back. Let's go to Camp. And let me shut my mouth so you can enjoy the trail.
I have a couple of videos uh, talking about making a new trail from my house to my camp through the woods from my house because from here to my friend Andrew is only three miles three miles straight when you make all the curves and rookies in the woods it's gonna be about four miles to two and a half to I mean two uh, three and a half miles um, I know. The stuff us campers go through to go camping, especially me. <laughs> How many of y'all campers out there have to walk at least a mile to get to their camping area? I know some of y'all car campers. I know some of y'all hiker campers. So which one are you? Let me know below. Are you a car camper? Are you a hiker camper? See, I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a car camper and a hiker and a backpacker. I'm backpacking to my woods like I'm doing right now. <clears throat> so dry. Ain't wet out here. Damn water. <sighs> yeah. See, I when, I, uh, when me and my family go out to on vacation, our car park uh, camp, you see one of my videos of our vacation. We're getting the tents ready and all that good stuff. You know, them bitches left. <laughs> my niece left her. She left everything. She, it was raining one more that day. We were supposed to leave, and they left everything. Except for the camping gear. They left the tent. They left the cabinet. Cabinet. It's about a hundred bucks for that thing. Or two hundred dollars for a cabinet. You know what I'm talking about. It opens it up. Gives you a good shade. And a tent. That blue tent. Y'all saw in that video. They left it. They had water all in it. They didn't want to fool with it. So they left it. They got another tent. They got the red tent now. It's the only tent they got left. It's pretty big. So. I wish it was good weather. Me and the Grumpy have been out here today, uh, this week. But uh, it was bad weather. It was raining. Cold. Coming out here, raining, cold. It's miserable. Everything's wet. You touch a tree, you get all wet. Firewood. I got firewood. It's just going through the woods and having fun and getting all wet. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bitching. I mean, I camped in the rain before. It's miserable. You ever notice the difference during winter and summer? How the trees just change everything? It don't even look like the trail I usually take. Because all the all the green is dead. You can see through it. So we're going to do a cooking video on a swish t torch, if I ever get out there.
Oh, I love it when I come out here in the woods. I get away from all that electronic crap and all the technology and there's nothing about here but old hobo and a base camp. No electric. Except for the battery packs I brought out here and stuff like that. That's about it. Everything else is nothing but woods. Oh, I enjoy the woods. Don't you guys? Don't y'all guys love the woods? Some of us can't get enough of it. Oh, Sonic on you. Some of us get too much of it. <laughs> and not enough. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about getting a... Building a tree house out here. And I have two rules. No nails could be nailed into the tree and no rope tied around it. So when I build my 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 camp in the tree, I cannot use no nails or no rope tied around the branches or limbs. Because I'm going to go in this oak tree over here. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, this big oak tree. And I'm going to place a good campsite inside of that tree. Somebody asks, has anybody ever been stole anything from my campsites? Uh, yes, I had a asshole that stole a couple items. Basically it was all trash that I have found and brought out here. And this son of a bitch came out here and stole some of it. I caught him on my one of my cam game cams. Got a couple game cams out here. And uh, he tried to steal the game cams and somehow he just left them. He dropped them on the trail, picked them up, and saw them all over the cam all over the camera. I told the family members I catch him in Lacombe. I will call the cops. Uh, he stole like three pots. Wait a minute, hang on. Two pots. Two good pots. Um, a, 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 a kid's crossbow. A machete. And other little knickknacks I had out here that I forgot I had. So sometimes doing the inventory of your campsite is good. good to do time to time so next time I'm out here I might do that when we do a video um, uh, damn it. sometimes I can't think a video of all my goods And just keep it on file so if something comes up I know it's missing
All right. I made it to Hobo. Checking to look and see that it looks like everything's been still here. Oh, last time I was out here, I brought some cans to fix the stove. I know my tarp fell because I was out here last time. And the tarp was just up here. We need to tie it better. That's about it. All right, I'm Ranger Kooky. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, next video. Well, let's take a walk. We heading back to the car.
Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next video. <laughs> Mama Larvae.